I mean, it, it was phenomenal in 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 the aspect in a lot of aspects, obvious obvious aspects. Um, and it was a, and it was a very valuable experience for me on, on a lot of levels. But creatively, you do get to a point where you know that that's the bag of tricks that they want, and you and you start to become uh, kind of creatively, you start to die a little bit. So that, so so you 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 you're looking to find challenging things within the process. So I knew that the big creative challenge for me on that show was once I'd established and sort of worked out his character, um, then people are wanting that character and they're wanting those tics and those mannerisms and those gestures. It doesn't grow much beyond that and and you mm. can't really rely on the writing room to develop it much further because that is the success of what the show is, the comfort and the familiarity with those beats being hit again and again. That's how those shows have success, particularly a show like that, you know, a procedural show like that. It did have an element of, of, of um, uh, a serialized story in it, but by and large it was a procedural. It was a, it was a crime, solved the crime. But yes, I did feel there was times in there where that I knew that was the challenge to keep myself alive creatively. So what I did do is I directed episodes. I spent a lot of time in the editing suite, spent a lot of time in different bouncing around. 